absolutely thrilled. SpaceX has just successfully launched Falcon Heavy and put some payload on a trajectory to Mars. Can you imagine that? This is probably the greatest moment since space shuttle launches and also the Apollo program. Tesla, the company of Elon Musk, was always famous for its high-powered electric sports cars. And they have now created the most powerful rocket on Earth today. They launched it successfully into an orbit around the Earth. As a payload, they actually used a Tesla um, because um, scientific instruments would have just been too heavy and too risky to put them up there in this early test stage. With the second booster burn, they will propel the Tesla and the second stage to a trajectory which will intersect with the trajectory of Mars. The Tesla will be orbiting the um, Earth-Sun orbit for at least the next one billion years. So it's an absolutely exciting story. Okay now, are you ready for it? Let's look at the launch of Falcon Heavy. <music> As a kid, I always admired the braveness of the people who run the Apollo project. And now I really have the feeling it is first-hand view time. It's an amazing opportunity in history to watch this crazy project unfold. And for the sake of action, Tesla has put a man, or at least a dummy, into the Tesla. The dummy is called Spaceman. So Spaceman is the one who will travel to Mars. I mean, look at those incredible images. You see the Tesla flying through space. You can see spacemen. Um, you can see the Earth shining in the polished color of the car. Wow, look at those images. Those images gave me the goosebumps. I mean, I love the reference of Don't Panic for Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is on the dashboard of the, of the Tesla and which um, is accompanying Starman through his adventure. So after separation, the three boosters will descend automatically and they will attempt a landing, two of them on the ground and one far out in the ocean on a drone ship. I think this is one of the moments that we all can probably tell our um, kids or grandkids about in the future. And uh, it's absolutely fantastic what technology can do. If you think about it, a private company launching such a payload through space and also through time, through half of our solar system, um, and not being a huge country like, like the United States or the European Union, it just absolutely blows my mind. Wow. Even though the third booster has, as far as we know, failed to land on the drone ship, the whole mission seems to be a success up to now. So it will be very exciting how the rest of the mission goes. So I wish you good luck, SpaceX. Good luck, Starman. I hope you enjoyed the little journey into space. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe and share. See you next time. Goodbye. Spectacle.